Hey, so uh, here I am again with uh, my three custom Templar Knights. And uh, they have the Ark of the Covenant right there. It's uh, actually a little bit small, but it's the best I could do since I lost the grill. I've got that. No. Uh, it's too bad. I was really, you know, it's too bad I lost the grill. You know, it's supposed to be lost anyway. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, I'll start off with this guy. This guy is, uh, I don't know, I should probably get a better helmet for him, but he's a uh, battle damaged. Um, he's got a mace. He's got some blood on his shoulder. I tried to wrap that up with some tissue that I just cut my hand with. But, uh, uh, didn't work. Um, anyways, um, um, I got this guy now. This is the, the, the Black Knight. And, uh, he's one of my favorites. I gave him this helmet because, uh, I could paint that part black. And, and he's mostly black and silver, so that's a nice, his, his, uh, it's, you know, you can see that it's a nice color mesh. And, uh,. <clears throat> He's got a, he's got a, I believe he's got a key on him, like a secret key. And uh, this guy's got some, this guy's got a pretty cool head sculpt. He's actually, uh, I don't know, we'll say he's the Duke of Exeter or some shit like that. But, um, no, he's, uh, he's one of my nicest. He's got a real beard. And uh, then there's this guy, who's probably my favorite, which is funny because he's like one of the first knights that I got, and I never really changed him, except for, you know, a few, you know, I changed him a little bit, but I didn't really ever take his stuff off. This guy, the, the this black knight, he's uh, completely, he's a different body now than, he used to be this guy's head sculpt. Um, this guy right there, with a slashed eye. But, um, you know, this, this one is... Uh, an even taller body and that's what I like about it more to be honest it's it's taller and the head sculpt is you know to be honest this head sculpt came with a fucking ninja an expensive fucking ninja like talking $400 ninja and um, it's it's actually perfect for a knight because I used a, a Japanese head sculpt for the ninja instead it's kind of funny you know it comes with a um, a North American head sculptor, or, or you know, whatever, no North American, but you know, like uh, the Western, uh, you know, the, the English, or whatever. Um, and he's got a beard. It's hard to see there with the cape, but he's not really battle damaged. But you know, I really like him anyway. He's it's all in black and silver, and that's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on again to this guy. Um, this guy is easily one of the coolest that I've ever had. One of the coolest figures. I don't think you can see his, his eyes through there, but the helmet, I tried to poke, the reason I cut my hand, guys, my finger, is because I was trying to uh, poke through the hill, the, the holes in this in this mask, and I was doing it with a knife, because I didn't have a fucking needle or anything, so, you know, anyways, um, this guy's got a fucking huge sword, huge sword, you can see how big that is, it's, uh, it's the one of the longest, one of the two longest swords that I have. It's actually a, a long sword, so you know. Then I have a Nodachi that's a Japanese version, but I'm not really into that right now, so as much. Anyways, I'm more into this right now. Um, but uh, you know, I, I drew a, a cross, an emblem, a cross kind of thing on on this guy's. Uh, I'll try and show you that. It's like a, it's like a really special cross. It's pretty intricate and stuff. Yeah, pretty elaborately drawn, a little bit anyway, but. You know, anyways, um, this guy is, uh, he's, he's one of the biggest figures that I have. One of the biggest knights anyway. Um, I actually have a much bigger, taller body than Star Theaters that I could probably make a knight out of, but I don't really feel like it right now because I don't want something mythical and I want something more, you know, historical. But, you know, a giant knight, this complete, giant knight, like, talking this much bigger, like, is just not, you know, it's not historical, so, it's totally mythical, but, you know, this guy's, actually, it's got a, he's got a pretty mythical shield, you can see his shield there, it almost looks like the doorway to a, a doorway in the path of hell or something, in the, in the depths of hell, 
um, to a path uh, or a hallway that leads to, you know, a room full of demons or something, but or beasts. But you know, it's kind of cool because um, he's that kind of knight. <laughs> and I gave him this helmet because he is my favorite. Even even over this guy's head sculpt, and this guy, and this guy's, this guy's is my favorite. I think he's he's the most brutal looking. Uh, and uh, I actually gave his his uh, his scar there some red, so it looks like he's freshly cut, um, just like me. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> um, uh, this guy is uh, <clears throat> totally gonna be in these three. I don't know, maybe these guys are brothers or something like that. They're, it's three of the first, uh, or well, three of the ones that found the Grail, in, or the, the Ark of the Covenant, sorry, anyway. And, um, you know, I couldn't like these figures more. They're, they're really nice custom knights, if you ask me, because some of the ones that you see on eBay are, you know, it's even the ones that you buy from fucking Ignite and Time Silhouette that, I'm telling you, like, the, the head sculpts are like this. They're just, this is painted, yeah, but I'm sorry, that's not a good example, but, you know, the head sculpts are just, they're not very, there's no real hair on them, they're not very articulated, um, and the bodies aren't that great, but, you know, this is probably a Shazmati custom that I bought here, this guy's a Shazmati, and this guy's originally a Shazmati, with, minus the body and the head sculpt, and, uh, and some of the, some of the gear, like the, uh, the helmet and, and uh, the this, this garment here, but, you know, um, these knights are very, very nice for Templar knights, I think. Anyway, share your thoughts, and uh, I'm off for now, so that's it. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.